Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install CloudWatch Log Agent on Amazon Linux and second thing how to send Apache logs to the CloudWatch and third thing how to create metric filters from that logs and last one how to create alarms for that metric filters. Okay. To achieve this we want to follow some steps. Okay. First thing is we want one we want to have one Amazon Linux server with Apache server running. And second thing is configure your instance with IAM role or user with CloudWatch logs. And third thing install and configure CloudWatch logs on the existing Amazon EC2 instance. Okay. For this demo, I am launching one new instance in Mumbai region. Launch instance, choose Amazon Mission Image, and choosing Amazon Linux, and I am going with t2.micro. Okay, next configure instance details. I am choosing default sub, default VPC and default subnet and auto sync public IP enabled. Okay, in advanced setting, I am ping my script which contains it installed Apache server and one dummy file also it will create. Okay, next add storage, add tags. I am giving the server as Apache server. Okay, configure security group. I am going with new security group which allows all traffic. Source from anywhere. Review and launch. Okay, I am creating a new KPI program for this demo. Demo key. Okay, I am downloading the my KPI and launching my instance. New instance. See here, I am going with public IP and go to address. Okay, see my Apache server is running now. Okay, see here, my first step is over. Okay, second thing, I want to create one IAM role and permissions I want to give with CloudWatch log logs. Okay, for this, I am navigating to IAM. Go to IAM. I want to create one role. Before creating the role, I am creating one policy set that contains. See here, it contains. It it it, it, have, it wants to permissions on create log group, create log stream, put log events, and describe log streams. Okay. For this, I am creating one policy set. Create policy. I am choosing this service as. See here, here logs is there. That means we want to give permissions for CloudWatch. CloudWatch logs. Okay. For this, I am choosing service as CloudWatch logs. Choosing service as CloudWatch logs and actions. Once you see the actions, actions are all there. Create log group, create log stream, put log events, and describe log streams. Okay. First, first one, create log group. Create log group, create log stream, and third thing, put log events and describe log streams. Put log events and describe log streams. Describe log streams. Okay, and I'm selecting resources as all resources. Okay. Review policy, name the policy. I am naming it as CloudWatch Logs Policy. Okay, I am putting description as same to same. Okay, create policy. Once the policy is created, we want to create one role for EC2. Okay, create role, select service as EC2 and next permissions. In permission section, we want to give what we created the customizer policy. Our policy is CloudWatch logs policy. So for that, I am selecting this one. Okay, review the policy and name it. 
I am giving this name as CloudWatch Logs Policy. Okay, create role. Once the creation of role is completed, you want to go navigate to EC2. Okay, go to the running instance, select the instance and the actions in instance setting. You want to attach this role, attach and replace IAM role. Okay, I want to attach that role. CloudWatch. CloudWatch logs policy. I want to select. Apply. See here, my second step also completed. Okay, I want to install CloudWatch. I want to install and configure CloudWatch logs on existing Amazon EC2 instance. Okay, for this, I am connecting to my AWS Linux instance. Okay, see here, I am connected my AWS EC2 instance. I want to install CloudWatch logs agent. Okay, for this, I am going to root user. Here, I want to install CloudWatch logs agent. The command is install AWS logs minus y. Apache logs are stored in where log HDDP. Okay, first we see that one. CD into where log HDDP. Here, C two files are there access underscore log, error underscore log. Okay, first one access underscore log. Okay, first we will see the content of access underscore log. Catch access underscore log. See here, this uh, this and all logs. This this and all I want to send this logs to CloudWatch. Okay, for this I am going to cd slash etc AWS logs. Here AWS log configuration files are there. See here, first one AWS CLI dot conf. Second one AWS CLI dot conf. Okay, first I am configuring the region of the my EC2 instance. For this, I want to edit the file of AWS CLI dot com. Grim AWS CLI dot com. Okay, see here. Once my instance is in Mumbai, that means AP South one. So that I want to configure AP South one there. Okay. Escape W for self U for key. Second thing, we want to we want to give the location of the logs logs path. Okay, for this we want to edit this file CloudWatch logs dot com. Vim. Sorry, AWS logs dot com. Okay, come to the end of this file. We will see the. Okay, we will see the path. Okay, here by default where logs message is there, but we want to mention here where log HTTP access under log, underscore log one time and so, <coughs> error underscore log one time. Okay, to, uh, for this I am copying this total content. Okay, I am creating one new dummy file here. Okay. I am pasting that content here. Okay, actually, see once here CD where log HTTPD here PWD in C. Here, where it is where log HTTPD in HTTPD access underscore log is there, error underscore log is there. For this, we want to give this explicit path there. Okay, for this I am changing this as where log httpd slash access underscore log. Okay, this is the by default time and uh, time for date and time format it will send. Okay, here also we want to change httpd underscore slash access underscore log. Here also 
Now see here buffer duration. Buffer duration means in every 5000 milliseconds it will send the logs to the cloud watch. Okay. By default logs log stream name is instance ID. We can customize this also. Okay. I am putting here my Apache server. Okay. Initial, initial position means startup file. From, from startup file it will send. Okay. Here also we want to send httpd access underscore log like this we want to create one more one more set for error underscore log here we want to change error underscore log underscore log here also we want to change here also we want to change okay copy the total content and paste it there in slash etc aws logs in aws log we want to change the aws logs.com aws logs.com okay come down and delete delete this uh, this all lines okay go to insert mode and paste it here okay escape colon w for save q for quit okay once the work is completed we want to start the aws log service for this we will use service aws logs start once the aws log started it will send that log files to the cloudwatch go to the cloudwatch console and see here cloudwatch Okay, go to the logs and see here where log httpd access underscore logs and like this see here my I gave that uh, name as what I give my Apache server slash instance ID. So, so here also it like that only it came my Apache server iPhone instance ID. Okay, like this one access underscore log ID also came and one error underscore log also came. If you go inside the access underscore log, we will find the all logs generated by application. Okay. See here my second step also completed. Okay. I want to create metric filters from that logs. If you want to create metric filter from log, you go to log groups and select the anything. I want to create metric filter for error underscore log. So that for that I am I selected this one and create metric filter. Okay. See here show examples. Okay, you can find errors or warnings or access denies like this keywords. Okay, any keywords you will search that keywords is if available, it, it will uh, show that patterns. Okay, I am selecting error. Good test pattern. Okay, see here one matches is phone. Okay, one matches is phone. Okay, for this I am assigning the metric filter and create the name error. error filter and create filter once the filter is created we can create alarm from here also okay create alarm give the name error alarm and give the description for this and see here whenever greater than or equal to one means whenever error is present automatically it will send uh, whenever alarm state alarm state it will send notification to the our uh, em emails or any sns alerts okay like this we can create alarm from here okay thank you for watching